welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I am Wolfgang. And my gift to you today is this guided meditation where we will give our Christ Self, Archangels of Love and Light and our Spirit Guides permission to clear any trauma, cords, vows, curses, bindings and damage that still carries false light trauma with you from your twin flame. The guided meditation will cover this in past life as well as our ancestors. Uh, we shall also liberate any discarnates that got stuck in the false light heavens due to false twin flame manipulation from hostile alien races. Yeah, this sounds very woo-woo. Um, but <laughs> you know, um, I think there is a reality behind it. We will also ask that the beings that are still keeping our aspects trapped to harvest our energies against all free will be brought to the highest courts of divine justice. And the actual guided meditation will start at this time. But first I want to thank you for liking my video and subscribing. It will help to get the message out. And of course, if you want to have a personal session through Skype or Zoom with me, just look in the description below for the contact. Well, let's face it. You know, most of all women want to meet their one and only twin flame, play house with him and bring divine children into this world. A large percentage of females, you know, hold out for this special one so they will not miss the opportunity when he presents himself. And then, of course, there's often this urgency and despair as the biological clock keeps ticking away. I mean, just lower your expectation, right? Of course, where there is a high demand, there are also a lot of knockoffs. Imitations, in our case, false light twin flames. The concept is very similar to the alien love bite idea, where higher dimensional beings, service to self, ETs, or maybe even magicians, manipulate our subtle bodies with their technologies to create self destructive romantic relationships. And in most cases, you will find that the sex is through the roof and therefore very addictive. But there are some serious issue and distortion in the heart chakra level. Even the despair to have a twin flame, you know, can screw up a life. And the outcome then in those relationships is a roller coaster soap opera drama that leaves little room meditation and spiritual advancement unless you know to start looking for a spiritual way to mend a broken heart and to cut the cords and in that way you know these traumatic relationships serve as a catalyst for spiritual inquiry and practices well and that is most likely the reason why you're watching this video uh, but the dark astral beings in ETs do not only keep us in a lower vibration, they consume our dark emotions like we eat food. Please understand that our suffering is food for them. So, wars and natural disasters are an all-you-can-eat buffet for them. Understand? And they have the technology, of course. Uh, so, <laughs> are you hooked up with such false twin flame or the real thing? I mean, don't ask me. I don't want to carry the responsibility for your life choices, you know, even if I get it right. What I can tell you for sure is that you and your ancestors in past lifetimes surely got tricked into false twin flame or alien love bite connections and wasted their whole life and are now stuck on the astral plane due to all kinds of trauma. 
And of course, many of them did some stupid things <laughs> to, to their addictions. You know, sometimes in when violent, and many times they made some crazy spells, crazy deals, crazy vows, and crazy promises. You know, I do a lot of past life regressions, you know, to where the trauma is, and mm, that's what's going on. Um, and so, besides their karma, you also have a bleed over from all the trauma, not only from your own incarnations, but also from the trauma of your ancestors, you know, unto you and then your descendants. Mm -hmm. And many of them are probably also stuck in the false light heavens. And false light heaven, um, consider this a virtual reality world. Mm -hmm. Now we have the technology and of course um, some ETs in you know, had virtual reality uh, technology thousands and thousands of years ago. And, um, you know, but now as humans we have the concept. So think of false light heavens, um, you know, virtual realities in which um, you know, the life force gets stuck, you know, and there they harvest the life force or manipulate the life force. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the matrix, but it's on the astral plane. The storage devices are not on the physical, they are on the astral plane. And yep, <laughs> that also has an effect on you because, you know, we're all connected. Mm -hmm. And there will be a false light heaven video in the future. And for more good info on Twin Flames, you know, please search my channel for Twin Flame and that will get you up to speed. I have the links in the description for you. Mm -hmm. um, so, what are false light Twin Flames? Well, you know, they are illusory bonds that have been created. Mm -hmm. Fay connection that imitate, you know, the intensity and intimacy of a real Twin Flame relationship. Mm -hmm. But they lack the general spiritual growth and purpose and keep you in a lower mind. Right? Do you frown a lot? Mm -hmm. you know, that just means you're in a lower survival mind. And again, so uh, many relationships mm -hmm. are on the contribution of past lifetimes. So not everything is like foul play. You know, a lot of your relationships are past life karma. Mm -hmm, that you had with other people. <laughs> you know, it's not just that one size fits all. And uh, of course, um, false light, twin flames are definitely a temporary lesson. Mm -hmm. So these unions, I mean, they're very intense and, and they serve as lessons or traps, you know, how depending how you handle them. And rather than lifelong relationships. Again, um, you know, relationships are a continuation of past lifetimes. And instead of a mutual energy exchange, you know, false light connection can often feel very draining and imbalanced. Mm -hmm. So a good tester is how do you look or feel like in the morning after spending a night making love? You know, do you look like a demigod or like the painting of Dorian? Great. So false twin flame connections, you know, can of course also, like any karma, spend various lifetimes. They might have begun in a past lifetime, continue in the present, or might be significant in a future existence. And that can be a real can of worms for past life <laughs> regressions. Also, you know, here I have to be caution. I mean, again, not every relationship should be scrutinized, you know, through the lens of twin flame interpretation, you know. Uh, so a lot of romantic relationships are governed by love spells, bindings, glamours, vows, revenge, contracts, promises, and other karmas from past or parallel lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh yeah, I've seen a lot of relationships out of revenge, you know, where one of the partners got killed or abandoned by the other one, and now they're together and that partner is taken revenge. <laughs> That's a very, very significant. <clears throat> 
And of course, our actions and decisions and our spiritual growth, you know, can shift on which timeline we are on. And, um, this, of course, affects then also um, in whether we meet, you know, a true twin flame. <laughs> You know, so uh, when you are on a low timeline, you know, if you look like a homeless person and um, that has dietary problems, um, you know, and you're frowning all the time, you're probably on a lower timeline. Mm -hmm. And um, probably not going to meet your twin flame because you're not qualified for this, you know. But you may qualify, you know, if you balance your inner male and female aspect, you know, that will bring you onto an organic timeline, and then you might attract, you know, your real twin flame. So false light twin flame will bring us into a false light timeline. And, um, you know, false light timeline is something that your soul did not plan <laughs> before the incarnation. You know, something more artificial. And um, so whether, you know, it's a genuine flame flame connection or a false encounter, or it's a calming encounter, you know, each relationship, of course, has a purpose in your spiritual journey. And I would say, um, you know, in this lifetime, we finish a lot of cycles. So there is a lot karmically on your plate. Mm -hmm. But by understanding the lessons, you know, these lifetimes or these experiences bring, you know, you can navigate, you know, your spiritual path more efficiently and start, you know, cruising on a higher timeline, higher vibration, higher timeline, better experiences. <laughs> so um, now um, let's start the meditation. So if you're driving a car or operating heavy machinery, you know, yeah, please. You know, listen to some music, do something else. This is going to space you out. Very dangerous. And otherwise, you know, close your eyes, you know, be comfortable, feet on the floor. It's um, definitely best um, for the time, you know, but even you, if you lay down and even if you fall asleep doing this, um, you will have a benefit, great benefit. Mm -hmm. And some of you may even, you know, click this on YouTube, uh, right click it with your mouse and set it onto a loop so it can, you know, run all night long as a background. And so you yeah, close your eyes and first of all you ask that everything that happens in the session and from the session here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. You know, in your mind, just agree with this, maybe even not your head. Mm -hmm. And you ask, of course, to be protected from any false information. Mm -hmm. And we like to have our minds protected from any hacking from dark light beings. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now smile and imagine that you pull, you know, love from the center of the earth. And pull it right into you. You do a deep inhale and just draw the love from Gaia from the earth through your legs into your root chakra, into yourself, and on the exhale, send your love with a smile down. It's a smile and imagine you know sending energy down and you know go back and forth. And as you're doing this, all the way in, all the way out, you're trying to establish a rhythm, just like the waves of the north. Smile, you know, don't growl at Mother Earth, don't scare her. We ask the spirit guides and the angels of love and light and absolute source to clear any resistances between us and Mother Earth. You know, sometimes um, there were um, entities attached, um, parasites, for instance, astral parasites, or there is trauma from past lifetime or this lifetime, like rape would be one of those things. Mm -hmm. And um, injuries, you know, a lot of things um, we asked that they all be cleared, whether it's black magic, curses, spells, alien technologies, whatever it is, please find a new one, clear 
continue to finish, just nod your head or think Amen. And keep on smiling through the results will kick in about in five seconds, so which is about now. And just keep on running love with the Earth Goddess. That's what I call that running love. And we asked for the presence of expert ascension teams and angelic helpers and our spirit guides and the beings of love and light like archangels, mm -hmm, whoever you trust and love. We asked for their assistance and to make sure that everything works out for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, mm -hmm, and smile. And you may feel the presence coming in now. Mm -hmm. Then pull their love in. This is like from a big circle around you. And on the exhale, send your love back. Make sure you smile. And of course, we ask them to purify again as much as they can. Back and forth with this love. Okay, now let's connect with the heavens, I call it, through the crown chakra or chakras, celestial chakras. They are chakras or energy centers of you up to two meters or six feet above your head. Mm -hmm. And um, start pulling, you know, the love from Milky Way galaxy. Imagine. It's she being like, again, six feet or two meters above the head, because on the astral the distance doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Pull her love into your whole body, into your spine, and then send your love out in the exhale. And back and forth. And of course, you know, smile. And we ask her and our spirit guides that are assisting us to please clear our celestial chakras and our brains from any interference, trauma, vows, spells, curses and hostile technologies. And tune everything so we have maximum love and energy exchange with them. Amen, amen, amen. Back and forth. And you may quit guide Spacey. <laughs> and now um, start pulling the love from the heaven as well as from the earth goddess into your heart. Right? We are a product of you know, it's the earthly matter of clay imbued with spirit, you know, which we access through the higher chakras. We are angelic beings in, let's say, advanced monkey bodies. So both aspects of love are meeting in our heart, you know, creating this project that we are. You know, consciousness can walk around in physical bodies. Mm -hmm. So this love of heaven and earth, you know, bring it together in your heart. That's the attitude. Mm -hmm. So in you, heaven and earth, making love, you know, producing you. Mm. And every time, you know, you feel the love coming in, you know, you're in gratefulness, you may think, I love you. Just think it, you know, your mouth is for smiling, your breath is for, you know, pushing chi. <laughs> and your thoughts are telepathic. You know, all the communications are telepathic. Mm -hmm. And you probably feel now, after five seconds of thinking and saying, um, I love you, how the vibration is going up. Mm -hmm. Keep on smiling. And now we ask the divine part of you, consider the high self or the Christus, Christus aspect, the enlightened aspect. 
your closest connection to source to step into your body or to be in front of you, whatever is most appropriate for you at this level of evolution. Amen. Smile. And then we ask Source and Archangel Michael to make sure that only the real deal can come down. No fake light beams. Amen, amen, amen. Make sure you agree. And let's um, ask, you know, how does it look for us when we get a yes answer? One of the easiest way besides hearing yes or seeing thumbs up or symbols in any way is also the flow of energy. Very difficult to manipulate this. Mm -hmm. So a yes would feel like a flow of energy from the heart into the heavens, into the head, so to say. It would feel like this. One more time, it would feel like that. You know, an uplifting. And to know would be a flow of energy from the heart into the ground, kind of like a downer, and would, it would feel like this. And one more time. I hope you got it. You know, if you don't get anything, um, you might just assume that you're affected with everything and have it clear. Or if you're picky, you can also use a pendulum and find out, maybe pause the recording, find out how much on a percentage scale or quantify, and then move on. So first question is, keep on smiling and keep on residing in your heart. And the first question is, are you affected by alien love bite manipulation in this lifetime? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And so alien love bite is again, you know, incompatible people are kind of hooked up with each other. So one more time, are you affected by alien love bite manipulation? Yes or no? And how many times did it happen in this lifetime? Especially when you're older, this may be interesting. So how many times in this lifetime? And have you been affected by alien love bite manipulations in past lifetimes? Yes or no? And in how many past lifetimes? Good. Now let's move into false light twin flames, you know, which is in principle like um, alien love bite, but probably a lot stronger. So. <coughs> Have you been affected by false light twin flames in this lifetime? Yes or no? Have there been hookups with several false light twin flames in this lifetime with you? Yes or no? And are there any addictive implants in you? Yes or no? And how many addictive implants are in your force field at this time? And are there still any addictive chords with you, yes or no? And 
And how many addictive chords are still with you in your heart or wherever? And do you still have distortions in your heart chakra? Yes or no? And including our past lifetimes, how many, and this could be quite a high number, so how many in total? And how many from this lifetime? And how much ancestor bleed over do you having from this trauma? Lot, medium or little? And let's ask your higher consciousness to kind of show you the damage that you still carry on false light twin flame connect. You know, how does it affect your daily life? Mm -hmm. What is the trauma? As to be shown the cords through which your energy is being drawn out. Ask about the stupid vows you did <laughs> around those dramatic relationships. And ask about the curses that are still affecting you from these traumatic relationships. And ask whether there is any binding, magical binding that has happened in those relationships. And ask whether there are still any love spells or technologies that are still affecting you, yes or no. And are there any crazy spells affecting you? I mean, crazy means just far out stuff. And not so crazy, glamorous. You know, are they still affecting you? Glamorous are things that make the other person appear much more attractive than they actually are. Mm -hmm. Are there any deals that you made in past lifetimes around those crazy relationships that are still affecting you? Sometimes people did deals with the dark side, you know, to get them back or to get them at all, you know, crazy stuff. Are they still affecting you? Yes or no? And are there any promises that were made? You know, in the intoxication of love or sex, you know, that are also still affecting you in this lifetimes, yes or no? And what is the most important promise that is still screwing you up? And are there still discarnates, that means ghosts, stuck around you due to all kinds of attachments, you know, um, due to strong love or possessiveness, mm -hmm. yes or no? And are there still aspects of you and your ancestors still trapped? You know, in these kind of relationships or false light heavens, this means virtual reality worlds, yes or no. 
and we like to have those earmarked by the ascension team or for the ascension teams to be rescued later on. And as, you know, the most important one of these stuck beings, you know, how does it affect you in this lifetime? Mm -hmm. Are there any kids stuck from those relationships, from those turbulent relationships, yes or no? And we like to have those also earmarked for liberation later on. Amen. And are you on a false light timeline at the moment? You know, again, that means, you know, your soul did not plan on this before incarnating. So false light timeline for you at this moment, yes or no? And, you know, this may be just a little bit, so how much deviation from your original timeline do you have due to this? You know, a little bit, a lot, or, you know, completely devastation. Mm -hmm. And in relationships, we give our energy, you know, to others, whether sexually or through love. And of course, this also creates more attachment because part of us is with them and we do not feel complete. So, um, how much of your energy is still with all kinds of false love-like relationships? 50%, 30%, 20%. Again, let's ask again. So, how much of your energy is still with the other ones? And we ask that these energies be purified and return to you now. Amen. And this may take some while or it's starting to kick in now. It takes about five seconds for it to kick in, mm -hmm. but then it continues. And while this is going on, now ask how much of the other person's energy is still with you? And having other people's energy with you, you know, kind of deviates you from your own vibration and, you know, makes them again hanker after you, so not very good. So we ask that, you know, their energy be returned to them, purified, of course, and returned to them and all the baggage that's still with us. You know, we like to have that clear too. Amen, amen, amen. Now smile, mm -hmm. make sure, you know, you're harvesting love from heaven and earth. Yeah. And now we ask, in the name of Source, for our own incarnations and that of our ancestors, and those of our counterparts in our false light relationships, that are still stuck in the lower astral, planes or the, whether they're being harvested, you know, in false light heaven or wherever, mm -hmm. we like to have them brought to the Arcturian love, healing and ascension temples. And as a gesture of goodwill, please reunite them there with lost loved ones that are still also on the astral plane stuck, you know, like lost baby spirits, lovers, Grannies, pets, mm -hmm. and then show them in the unconditional love of Source, and also show them the higher as well as the hidden aspects of their incarnations. Amen. So please show them what aspect of their life was karma, and what aspect of their life was volunteered for to learn a certain lesson, maybe like humility. 
And what was sabotage on the dark side? And then help them with forgiveness? And once they forgive and ask for forgiveness, you know, everybody screws up and makes mistakes. We asked absolute souls to please make also any hidden stuff visible mm -hmm. and to move any cloaking spells and technologies, any camouflage, mm -hmm. make visible and expose whatever is trickery, misdirection or hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. Also clear any legalese fine print, you know, or invisible ink that has been <laughs> on contracts and clear those contracts mm -hmm. and have offenders brought to divine justice courts to be taken care of them. to clear all this and then also clear any entanglement that still binds them like trauma vows curses just you know give your permission just not every time any bindings, any love spells or technologies like that, of course any crazy spells, any glamours, clear any deals, promises and contracts, also any candle magic, you know, or what else, it's not for the highest good. Like mm, any forms of bindings, shackles, bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains, crowns of thorns, crucifixion implants and everything else that was not mentioned but needs to leave our space this time. Amen, amen, amen. And keep on smiling and you know, harvest love, bring love into this reality in your mind. You know, we're gonna apologize now because in so many love relationships, we surely did wrong. Or was, was done wrong. <laughs> so this is gonna be the whole point. So just in your mind, you know, follow along while pumping love. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, this happened, all the pain, the confusion, the abandonment, the suffering, the screwed up lives, I'm so, so, so sorry, please forgive me, 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 please forgive me. I forgive you too, I forgive you, I forgive you. I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you with all the duality, I forgive you. Ultimately I love you, you know in higher aspects, in higher aspects, higher dimensions, I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. And I thank you, I thank you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and by now you probably feel, you know, an upliftment of energy, so flowing mm -hmm, up into the heavens. Mm -hmm. And we ask the heavenly vacuum cleaner angels and ascension teams mm -hmm, to please speed up the processes. Reset with some conditional love. Amen. And you send your love now into the heavens that will help them to move up. And there may be some that do not want to go. You know where we have to hear their story or get special help. That, again, you can either explore yourself or do it with a guided meditation or have a private session. So, now we ask for the presence of expert healing teams. 
and then acted for the highest good in divine harmony with the master of the and he asked him to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma to healing energies and upgrade us to our divine blueprint now as much as possible. Help us integrate that. Um, 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 smile, 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 smile. And then inhale this love. And if you feel tingling, you definitely get updated. Mm -hmm. And then we asked our divine beings, spirit guides, archangels, source, to surround us on all level with this super powerful aura of love and light. It can only be penetrated by love and light that transmutes any darkness within us and helps us to transcend reality. Um, um, um. And then we ask that this be established permanently, of course only for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, and one, two, three, you're fully back grounded in vacant day consciousness or you have a really nice relaxing sleep. One, two, three. Now welcome back. I hope you had a great experience. Um, you know, if you like this, uh, please give me a thumbs up and give a comment, you know, about your experiences, share it with others. And there are people like you watching this. And um, make sure you drink a lot of water because you're going to be detoxing like anything. You know, very important. If you get a headache, you have to drink more water. We're also going to be very sensitive now, very open. So make sure you stay in a high and fine vibrational environment like nature or take a nice bath, you know, or watch the sunset. Don't go to a heavy metal concert or to a wrestling match, right? And um, of course, um, you know, um, watch my other videos. Um, they're all designed to hit certain aspects of your life, you know, that are holding your back. So by clearing, you know, these the karmas, these resistances, you know, in Sanskrit it's called samskaras, um, your vibration goes higher and higher, you know, which ultimately leads to ascension, you know, into a more expanded consciousness. I love you. Namaste.